development with sunlight for meditative healing hmm. and the divinity of the UFO too. Hmm. I can't imagine seeing this group travel and being homeless and saying like, I yeah, I want to join they just them. walked everywhere. I'm saying like, I don't see how they've recruited more people. I don't either. I guess Jesus had a following. Or like the Buddha, right? People like did the same thing. Like sold all their stuff and became bad Yeah. Adults. In April 17, 1976, the group stopped recruiting and became reclusive and instituted a rigid set of behavioral guidelines, including banning sexual activity and the use of drugs. Apple, white, and nettles also solidified their temporal and religious authority over the group. Benjamin Zeller describes the movement as having transformed from a loosely organized social group to a centralized religious movement compared to a roving monastery. Oh, wow. They got real serious real fast. Yeah. Hmm. Identifying themselves by the business name Higher Source, they created a website that they used to proselytize and recruit followers beginning in the early 90s. Rumors began to spread among the group in the following years that the upcoming Comet Hail Bop Comet Hail Bop The Comet was named Hail Bop <laughs> housed the secret to their ultimate salvation and ascent into the kingdom. And they believed that to rise to the higher level there were like four ways to get there. So, the four ways were physical pickup into a telespace craft and transfer to a next level broad next level body abroad that craft. In this version, what Professor Zeller calls a UFO of the Rapture, mm. <laughs> the UFO version of the Rapture. An alien spacecraft would descend to Earth and collect Applewhite and Nettles and their followers and their human bodies would be transformed through bio biological and chemical process to perfected beings. This and other UFO related beliefs held by the group have led some observers to characterize the group as a type of UFO religion. They also said natural death accidental death or death from random violence here the graduating soul leaves the human container for a perfected next level body outside persecution that leads to death after the deaths of the branch davidians in waco texas and the events involving randy weaver at ruby ridge apple white was afraid the american government would murder the members oh, wow. of heaven's gate so they put the in another like, one. Pool. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the other one, willful exit from the human body in a dignified manner. Near the end, Applewhite had a revelation that they might have to abandon their human bodies and achieve next level as Jesus had done. So, in October 1996, the group rented a large house, which they called the Monastery, a 9,200 square foot mansion located at 18341 Colina Norte in Rancho Santa Fe, California. They paid $7,000 per month in cash. The same month, the group purchased alien abduction insurance that would cover up to 50 members and would pay out $1 million per person. What? The policy covered abduction impregnation and death by aliens that's a real thing i don't know what who gave this the, who gave this insurance to know. them oh my god i should get that does it link is that a live yeah i was link? yeah it is a like niche insurance <laughs> dude that's gotta be so expensive though um yeah, alien abduction's one of them. Wow. Well, you know what? How many people do you think cashed in on that policy? <laughs> they were abducted. 
probably a and lot. And could prove it to the insurance yeah, company. Yeah, I guess, yeah. How are you going to prove it? No one. No right. one. They're just paying. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> Should we start an alien abduction insurance? Well, we better hope. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Prior to this, in June 1995, they had purchased land near Manzano, New Mexico, and began creating a compound out of rubber tires and concrete, but left abruptly in April of 1996. Why were they making this compound? Oh, never mind. Brain fart. They just ditched I, it. No. When you said compound, I was thinking, like, a like chemical. Oh, <laughs> Not like no. a a place to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brain fart. Okay. Uh, between March nineteenth and twentieth, nineteen ninety seven, Applewhite taped himself himself in Doe's final exit, speaking of mass suicide and the only way to evacuate Earth. Hmm. After asserting that Comet Hailbop was the sign that the group had been looking for, as well as speculation that an unidentified flying object may be trailing the comet, Applewhite and his 38 followers prepared for ritual suicide so their souls could reach the next level before the closure of Heaven's Gate. Mm -hmm. Members believed that after their deaths, a UFO would take their souls to another level of existence above human, which Applewhite described as being both physical and spiritual. The preparations included each member videotaping a farewell message. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That would be so, like, eerie to watch. I know. Yeah. Sad. Oh, my God. Okay. To kill themselves, members took fentyl barb phenobarbital mixed with applesauce or pudding and washed it down with vodka. After ingesting the applesauce mix, they secured plastic bags around their heads to induce asphyxiation. All 39 were dressed in identical black shirts and sweatpants, brand new black and white Nike Decades athletic shoes, and armband patches reading Heaven's Gate Away Team. Each member carried a $5 bill and three quarters in their pockets. According to former mothers, members, this was the standard for members leaving the home for jobs and a humorous way to tell that they had all left the planet permanently. The $5 bill was for covering the cost of vagrancy laws and the quarters were for calling home from pay phones. Although another former member known as Sawyer stated that this was in reference to Mark Twain, the Mark to a Mark Twain story which said 575 was the cost to ride the tail of a comet to heaven. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> That's so but sad. no such passage by Mark wow. Twain exists. Okay. <laughs> After each one died, a living family member would arrange the body by removing the plastic bag from the person's head and pose the body so it laid neatly in its own bed with faces and torsos covered by a square purple cloth for privacy. In an interview with Harry Robinson... Two surviving cult members said that identical clothing was a uniform representing unity for the mass suicide, while the Nike decades were chosen because the group got a good deal on the shoes. Okay. So a what? Couple white... They took turns? Yes. They didn't all do it to at the same time together? No. Oh, wow. What? And you just see these people and then you're going to continue to go through it? They thought they were going to heaven. Yeah. There's gotta be some people that had doubts, though. Well, it sounds like they like, were surviving oh, members. I'll go last. Yeah. Applewhite was also a fan of Nike, and therefore everyone was expected to wear and like Nikes Dumb. within the group. Wow. Heaven's Gate also had a saying, just do it, echoing Nike's clothing. Just kill yourself. Just do they it. They pronounce do as dough to reflect. So just do just it. Do it. Oh. That's dumb too. The 39 adherents, 21 women and 18 men, ranging between 26 and 72, 
mm. are believed to have died in three groups over three successive days. The remaining participants cleaning up after each group's death. The suicides mm. occurred in groups of 15, 15, and 9 between approximately March 22nd and March 26th. Among the dead were Thomas Nichols, brother of actress Nichelle Mickle- Nichols, who was best known for her role as Uhura on the television series Star Trek. Leader Applewhite was the third to last member to die. Two people remained after him and were the only ones found with bags over their heads and not having purple cloths covering their top halves. Before the last suicide, similar sets of packages were sent to numerous Heaven's Gate affiliated or formerly affiliated individuals at least one media outlet the bbc department responsible for lewis thoreau's weird weekends for which heaven's gate had earlier declined participation i can't believe it the last two people still like everyone went through with it that was yeah planning on it wow and doing it over three days like I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah. So, among the list of recipients was Rio D'Angelo. The package Rio D'Angelo received on the evening of March 25th, as other packages sent, like, they all had this, contained two VHS videotapes, one with Doe's final exit and the other with the farewell messages of group followers. It also contained a letter stating that, among other things, they have exited their vehicles and they... just as they entered them. Um, interesting. D'Angelo informed his boss of the contents of the packages and then received a ride from Los Angeles to the Heaven's Gate home in Rancho Rancho Santa Fe so he could verify the letter. D'Angelo found the back door or intentionally left unlocked to allow access and used a video camera to record what he found. Mm -hmm. After leaving the house, his boss, who had waited outside, encouraged him to call the cops. So this was the call to the police. Caller says, yes, I need to report an anonymous tip. Who do I talk to? Sheriff's Department. Okay, this is regarding what? Caller. This is regarding a mass suicide and I can give you the address. And that's it. The lone deputy who first responded to the call entered the home through a side door, saw 10 bodies, and was nearly overcome by a pungent odor because they had been... Yeah. Yeah. After a cursory search by two more deputies, they basically did not find anyone alive. And they got a search warrant. um, And eventually all 39 bodies were cremated. These are the 39 deaths in Rancho Santa Fe motivated motivated a copycat suicide of a 58-year-old man living near Marysville, California. The man left a note and said, I'm going to the spaceship with Hale-Bopp to be with those who have gone before me. Hmm. And at least three other I know, three other former members died by suicide in the months following the mass suicide Mm. the months before oh no following sorry (laughs) we'll listen to it wrong yeah wow yeah it's crazy there's like copycats for everything i know it's sad yeah Uh, Well, that's it for this episode. As always, our sources for the episode will be in the description as well as our social media links. We're on Facebook and TikTok under Let's Be Brief, so check us out there for updates. Also, email us at letsbebriefed at gmail.com if you have ideas on future topics you'd like us to cover. We're always updating our list with topic options, so if we know you're interested, we can bump a topic up the list. Until next time, stay briefed.